Hey art friends, today we're gonna draw a flag. Puerto Rico flag. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use a pencil and also markers to yes. color with. We're gonna use red and blue, but you could use colored pencils or even oil pastels or, or paint. Yes. You ready to start? Yep. Let's first trace around our paper. We're gonna draw a rectangle shape. We'll start up here. This is so we, it helps so that we don't have to color all the way to the edge of the paper then we're not coloring on our table. Yeah. So we're just gonna trace around our page. We're using our pencils so that we can erase our guidelines at the end of, of the drawing too, when we're done coloring. So I'm gonna turn my paper just like yours. It's a little easier to pull the straight lines towards your body. Yes, it is. <laughs> we're gonna come down, trace around our paper, turn it this way again. And if you ever need extra time, you can always pause the video if we go too fast. Here we go, we're gonna draw all the way down to the edge and complete the rectangle shape. You got one more line? Yep. I'm pressing kind of hard, but you guys at home can press lighter. That way it's easier to erase when we're all done. Now you can also use a ruler if you wanna draw super straight lines and even measure too, but let's just use our eyes to measure. Now I'm gonna turn my paper this way and we're gonna draw a line right down the middle of our page. So we wanna measure right here in half, and maybe it's right about there. And I'm also gonna draw a guide point down here at the bottom and measure in half. This is where you could use the ruler to measure if, if you wanna be more accurate. Now I'm gonna draw a line. This line I'm gonna press lighter, lightly, because we're gonna erase it before we color. Yeah, there you go. Then we can turn our paper horizontal again, and we're gonna measure and split our flag in half and just put a guide point right about there. <laughs> totally guessing. And just use your eyes. I think it's fun to measure with your eyes. Yeah, it is. On the left side of the flag, there's a triangle shape, but I believe this point goes past the half, the halfway. So I'm gonna add a little guide point that's just past it. I'm not sure, but it looks like when, when I was looking at the flag, it looks like the point of the triangle was a little past halfway. Now we're gonna draw, uh, yeah, let's turn, I'm gonna turn my paper again. I'm gonna draw a diagonal line that comes straight from that point down to the bottom corner. I'm gonna do that again, just to make it a little straighter. And then I'm gonna erase the first line, because that's not the one I wanna keep. That's a nice part about using a pencil. Yeah. You can change the line if you wanna make a different, make it look different. I'm glad you added the top of your triangle too. I'm gonna do that now. We're gonna draw a straight diagonal line to that point. Over here, inside of the triangle, we're gonna draw a star. But before we draw this star, let's draw a circle. Now I'm gonna try to draw it just freehand. We're gonna draw a circle about this size. Might be a little big, but that's okay. Practicing, right? Yes. We can go back over it a couple times, just make it darker so our friends can see the circle at home. This circle is a guideline for our star, so all of the points are the same length. Let's start here, and we're gonna draw an upside down V. So we're gonna come up to the middle and then draw a line back down. So we got an upside down V, right in the middle. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw a straight line that comes across the top of our star. Remember, I'm pressing hard, but you guys can press lightly at home so it's easier to erase. Now we're gonna connect this left side of that straight line down to the bottom, and then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Draw a diagonal line that comes down and connects to the other side. Good job, Jack. Now we're ready to erase some of the guidelines with our star. First, let's erase all of the guidelines inside of the star. Then we're gonna erase the circle on the outside of the star. Next, we're ready to draw the stripes. Now there are three red stripes and two white stripes for a total of five stripes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn our paper so that it's up and down and we're gonna pull the stripes towards us. Now we can just use our eye to measure and try to make them look equal, the same width. 
I'm going to start up here. Let's start with the middle. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to draw a line that comes straight down on the right side of the center. So we got the center right here. So we're going to draw a line next to it. And then we can do the same thing over here. We're going to draw another stripe on the, or another line for the other side of the stripe on the left. Now we're going to use our eyes and kind of measure this width right here. We're going to move it over and we're going to draw that same width stripe on the right side over here. We kind of just split this in half. There you go. Good job. Now you could use this width right here and move it over, or you could really just split this in half. So I'm going to start here and we're going to pull a line directly towards us for the last stripe on the left side. All right, we did it. We have all of the guidelines in place. Now let's go through again with our eraser and erase the center guideline right down the middle of our flag. And if there's any other extra lines, like maybe the circle that goes around the star, or if you have an extra line on your stripes, you can erase those before we color. We finished drawing our Puerto Rico flag and you did awesome, Jack. Thank you, but we still need to color it. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward. You ready? Yes. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring the Puerto Rico flag. It turned out awesome. Good job. Thank you. You did a good job too. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Jack. <laughs> I'm sure our friend's drawings turned out really cool too. Now you guys can pause the video and take time to color your flags. You can also use your eraser to erase the rest of any of the guidelines that are still showing. We also used our black marker and went around and drew a border. We hope you had fun drawing the Puerto Rico flag. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.